Top cyclists can reach a speed of 15 metres a second. That's 35 miles an hour. But during a race, the speed will vary. To understand how something gets faster or slower, you need to know about forces. It's forces that change the speed. So what are the forces acting on the bike and its rider? To move forwards, the rider needs to apply a forward force. Three, two, one. She pushes hard on the pedals. This forward force changes the speed of the bike. It accelerates. But the bike doesn't keep going faster and faster forever. Why is it, even though the cyclist keeps pedalling, her speed remains the same? As well as the force pushing the bike forwards, there are counter forces trying to push it back. So what are these counter forces? There's friction between the tyres and the track. Friction between moving parts on the bike. And the cyclist is pushing against the force of air. Inside the cycle track, the air is still. As the cyclist moves through the air, air resistance starts to bend the flag. The faster the cyclist goes, the greater the force of air pushing the flag and the rider backwards. So, as the cyclist pushes the bike forwards, friction and air resistance are working against it, effectively pushing it back. If the forward force and the backward force balance out, the speed of the bike remains constant.